Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. Uh, Microsoft is updating the, the way, uh, look and feel that we have in a document library. So this is how we have seen it uh, for a couple of years. As you can see, we have the new button. We could create folders, create uh, documents directly here. We could add a template. We could upload here, edit and grid view. We had this menu. And if we wanted to create views, we would do this from this menu. Now, if we wanted to filter, we would use this filter icon. Now, let's see how it looks <coughs> in the new interface. So, this is how it looks. Voila. So, if you remember, the new button that we had on the left moved to the right. And it's actually also called Create and Upload. So, we can upload from here and create documents. As you can see, we can create a folder, upload uh, documents, folders, create uh, documents, and even add a template. So it shifts from the left to the right. And if you remember, uh, if we wanted to create a, a, a view, uh, this is the new way that we can see the views here. And we can now uh, add and create a view from this add view. Now, uh, notice that we have here this um, drop down. In the previous uh, position, we could switch between libraries. Now, from here, we can create a folder, upload files and folders, add a template, and now we can switch between uh, different uh, document libraries. So uh, it's a bit hidden here. Um, I'm not sure what, what the reason is. Now, the top uh, menu has moved up to here. We also have here our AI action, which is actually uh, meant to, to create um, agents if you have a Copilot license and uh, additional uh, functionalities if you have for Copilot. Here we see the forms, which is the new forms. And actually, um, if we want now to do some um, filtering. Well, once we had on the right the filter icon, now we click on this uh, more filter and this pane will uh, appear and then we can filter based on the value that we want. So um, this is how we filter. We can also filter by type of document, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or PDF. These are the types that you can filter, but we can also use this filter. Now, if you want regarding the view to do any changes, as you can see here, I can save the view, save or, or save as a different name or rename it. But rest of the things we cannot do here. So uh, if we want actually to, to do additional things, there's an icon here which is options. And as you can see here, we can change the layout uh, to a list, a compact list, autofill height, or even a tiles, as you can see. Um, the sort and group by now is actually hidden here. Uh, so if I want to group by uh, status, then I can do that. Uh, but it's, I think, quite hidden. And I'm not sure if uh, this is what uh, uh, it's the best practice. Then we can edit in grid view, which was once on top. Actually, we see it here, but it exists both here and also in the menu. Um, we for can format the view. We can add and remove columns. Okay. Uh, most of the functionality is hidden actually here. And if we want to edit or save the view or or save as we, as we saw, we have it both here and uh, also in this possibility. Uh, and we can rename. Uh, one cool thing that I found, if I create a new view, let's call it the demo. And I will choose as a list. What will happen is that if I want to set this list as the default, what I can do here is to set current view as default, and we have here a, a crown, which is nice. Actually, I would like, um, if it was possible, to 
to make a views which are private to that you could know if it's private or public. Um, so uh, this is what we have here. And um, more or less, we went, we covered everything. So um, by the way, we can make this uh, uh, to show the header or navigation or not. So um, in general, it's the same. Uh, we need to notice to remember how to filter and how to use this uh, additional options, which are most uh, related to the, um, the view. I want to show you that actually there's some things that are twice and I'm not sure. So you see here, you can add, if I click on the drop down of files and folders. So you can also do it here. I'm not sure why it's duplicated um, and it might uh, confuse or just maybe gives um, po additional possibilities for people to use it. Um, so this is a short overview. Um, I recommend uh, that you try it when it comes to your tenant and have a great day. Goodbye.